What makes a good Santoku? First, you want a slim, sharp cutting edge. Most Santoku we tested had the typical Japanese blade angle of 15 degrees, but some were as small as 10 degrees. Many Santoku traditionally have a more rounded sheep's foot towards the tip. Our testers preferred Santoku that had a slightly less rounded tip. It was just a little easier for them to work and maneuver. Our favorites had a spine thickness that was about two millimeters. As with all knives, the handle is really important. With Santoku, you want to look for something with a moderate length and a moderate width. This is an all-purpose knife, so you're going to be holding it in all sorts of ways as you slice and dice and chop things. So a neutral shape is really key. It'll be much more comfortable. We also tested Santoku that had granton edges, or little hollows carved into the blade. These are supposed to prevent food from sticking as you slice or chop it. We found they didn't actually make a difference. Knives that had a perfectly smooth blade performed just as well.